Alright, what's going on dudes, and welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. So I totally forgot in the last episode, after we beat Mobzilla, I need to make Mobzilla armor, because that's what we're going to try to use when we attempt to beat the king. Who knows if it'll work out, because Mobzilla just took a toll on our ultimate armor, and I, I have a feeling like ultimate armor is to Mobzilla, as Mobzilla armor is to, to the king, so it could be a tough call, but still, I want to make it nonetheless. So let's grab our Mobzilla scales, and I assume it's just, uh, yep. That sort of layout. All right, cool. Well, actually, let's just use that in order to make it. Boom, helmet, and boom, chest plate. Oh, it's all enchanted and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's got protection 10 and all that stuff. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Boom, and boom. All right, and we still have enough left over for, like, one more. One more full set if we need it. That's nice because that way um, we we have like a, a couple sets to go through as we're trying to defeat the king, which uh, I now know that it's probably a, a good thing to, to bring along an extra set given the mistake we made with the ultimate armor. Like if I had two sets of ultimate armor, we probably would have been good, but I, I didn't have it on me. So any whooses, there we go. Let's put dad on and dad on and dad on and dad on. And let me morph back into being me. Oh, I totally forgot. Can I morph into being Mobzilla? Because that would be fantastic. Okay, let's see how he look. Um, he look pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. Just got a nice shiny, shiny purple armor. It's pretty nice. Pretty nifty. Okay, so let's, let's try this. I wonder what would happen if I morphed into Mobzilla inside. I'd probably start suffocating. I'm going to not do that. Okay, let's go out. And, uh... I will be Mobzilla with Mobzilla armor on. Um, so I don't know if... Do I start suffocating if my body is within the... Like, if I'm too wide? Or does it just matter about height? Oh, well, we're going to go for it on the deck. And see what this looks like. Okay, so... Um, what is the... There we go. I haven't used the brackets in so long. I totally forgot about them. Mobzilla. Um, <laughs> he's too big to fit in frame. Well, here we... Oh, God. Oh, 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 I'm too big to fit in F5 as well. <laughs> like, I like how my jumping, like, just has absolutely no significance. Um, wow, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty nifty. That's, that's pretty nifty stuff. Um, okay, and that's just me being clipped inside of him, his head, or me. I am, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, can I can Mobzilla jump over the uh, the one by one? Fa Wait, oh Mobzilla can 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 Mobzilla walk on top of houses? Oh man! Wait, let's see. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> Wait, can I just jump on top of the the roof of the house? Uh, nope. I'm I'm still restricted by the uh, the limitations of the the ah, dang helicopters. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> they they realized that I turned into Mobzilla and they were just like we need to we need to uh, survey the the situation here and see what's going on. Oh, what happens if I jump down here? We Oh, do I do take fall damage? God, I'm Mobzilla. Why would I take fall damage, man? <laughs> this is so silly. Okie dokie. Hi sheep. I wonder if I can can I hit a sheep from like all the way up here? I can't kill anything as Mobzilla. I like how I'm pushing him away though. My body is entirely invisible, but uh, it's, it's, that's hilarious. I, I, can I, can that zombie damage me from down there? Let's find out. Can you damage me? Nope, I'm just pushing him away. So I'm invincible, but I also cannot do damage to anything. I can just walk around with a real, real high vantage point. Um, okay. I mean, that's, that's cool. <laughs> well, this is a fairly useless state to be in, but uh, it's still kind of funny. Yep. Yep. If only I could get like a wider view. That'd be great. What if I go into my, um, I do, there we go. Oh, there we are. Hey, now I can see more of me. <laughs> Beautiful. How about, how about now? Uh, nope. It's still inside your head or my head. It's me. It's -a me, a mobzilla. <laughs> Sorry, puny zombies. You can't get me, but I also can't get you unless... Wait. Yeah. Oh, I'm invincible. <laughs> this is good. What if I fight the king as Mobzilla? Oh, that's what I'm going to do when we fight the king. Not not quite yet, but that is what I'm going to do. That's going to be fantastic. Maybe. 
it might not work out as I hope it will. Anyway, okay, so let's go back and FOV back to normal and enough fun for one day. Back to being a blaze. Uh, oh, wait, I gotta fly. I gotta fly. Stop, 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 stop. Gonna start taking damage. There we go. Healing axe to the rescue. Woohoo. Replenish that hunger. All right, so anyway, um, actually, I, I was told that I may need to uh, go and take care of the, the earth that was the, the, like, undead, tainted earth stuff that was spawned when I did the ritual, uh, because apparently that does spread, but I didn't realize, so it's sort of like taint, except, uh, let's see. Oh, it's all on fire and stuff. Oh, is the sun burning? Oh, the sun's burning it up. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're fine. No need to worry. Thank you, sun. Um, although, although the sun is setting, it would have been, it probably would have been good if I was over here before the sun set, because that way the chunks would have loaded and I would have, anyway, here, let's just, let's destroy the stuff. Let's destroy it so that we don't have to worry about it spreading, because apparently it does spread, but I, I, I don't know, I don't know for sure. All right. It takes a little bit longer to uh, to destroy than regular dirt, so this could take a little while to get done. Okay, and I wonder if Silk Touch would let me actually like harvest a piece. Let's see. Give me some cursed earth. Oh, there we go, cursed earth. <laughs> I uh, I don't know that there's going to be any use for that, but uh, I can have it nonetheless if I ever want to plant down a seed of of cursed earth. Then, uh, well, came to the right place. Okay. Oh my god, there's still a lot to go. There's still a lot to go, and the mobs are gonna, like, start spawning on it because it's nighttime. Although, since everything is on fire, hopefully not. Maybe we'll be safe. Maybe we cut a break. But yeah, everyone, everyone in the comments on the last video was like, that, that's going to spread, man. You better, you better address that, or you, you gonna be wrecked. Your world is gonna be taken over by super buff mobs. And uh, you don't want that. Maybe I do want that. Maybe I like a challenge, you know? I did beat Mobzilla, so I'm ready for anything at this point. Not only did I beat Mobzilla, but I can become Mobzilla, and then they can't even touch me. I also can't touch the ground. So, has its drawbacks, but, you know, <laughs> it is it is what it is. All right, let's keep on, keep on taking. I wish there was a, I, I should make like an ultimate shovel or something. I, I do have the resources and I don't need the uh, the uranium and titanium anymore in order to make armor because I have Mobzilla armor and the, the king armor. So may as well put that stuff to use anyway to make some tools. Oh God, that scared me. Hi. Um, <laughs> whoops. Well, anyway, uh, that caught me off guard. Not that I was in any trouble, but. Um, ooh, I totally forgot I've left my, uh, my ultimate sword and I still haven't gotten it yet. I will go and grab it just after we have cleared this area out. Well, Boss Fight Island, uh, has a few battle scars now. Yep. Alright, and all good to go. This is, welcome to Boss Fight Island. Definitely looks like, uh, something where some, some intense battles. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the redstone, just like a bloodstain. Something, something along those lines. All right, let's head back. And uh, let me pick up my ultimate sword. And uh, and also make like an ultimate shovel or something. What other tools could I use that uh, from the ultimate set? Um, what did, oh, what the heck? Did you just kill something? What the? I saw, I saw some like shatter particles. Uh, is he is he digesting his his prey? Do dragonflies do the the fly thing to to digest food where where they uh, like eat it and then throw it up and then like do that whole gross thing? Um, I don't know. I guess they have fly in their name, so they pro probably do. Uh, why? No, 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 Bane sheep. What happened to you? What happened to you? Do you? Oh my god, what, hap what happened to you, man? You're not being sheep anymore, you're just sheep. That's not okay, I can't have you just being, no! St okay, you are a hazard, you're a hazard to yourself, you're a hazard to me, opening the doors like that. Can't have this, I can't, I can't have this. What can I, I can't, I can't, you're not even being sheep anymore. Bane sheep, you, you go back there and, and you think about what you've done. Taking off your your mask and trying to open up the doors. Uh-uh. 
Maybe, maybe you, maybe you, uh, you need to go and, and hang out in the nether. How's that? How's that sound? Let's see you, Bane Chief. <laughs> bye bye. Have a nice trip. Um, see you next fall. I don't, I don't know if I'll see him next fall. Maybe it'll be in the winter, or spring, or summer, or something along this. I'll see him next, next time I see him. Anyway, okay. Well, what was I doing before Bane Sheep tried to let all of the Gotham City criminals into my house and uh, and take off his mask and everything? What was I trying to do? Well, oh, what I was gonna do was I wanted to see if we could build a uh, space station. So, Dad, uh, the Galacticraft space station, we we saw like the option to go there when we were on the way to the moon. Except I was like, oh, we've been working to the moon all this time, so I should probably just head to the moon first. But I I still want to see like what what the space station looks like. Is it a, a pre-built thing? Like as long as I have the resources, then it'll just construct itself, and we can just hang out there, take a look at the view of both the Earth and the moon. I'd assume. Anyway. Let's see. So um, I, I wrote down, I, I went back and looked at the video to see what the uh, the resource requirements were. Um, and I wrote it down. It's 32 tin, 16 aluminum, and 24 iron, and one advanced wafer. All right. Well, let's go and do that. So do I have uh, everything I need? Uh, I searched for 32. That's going to that's gonna get me what I need. Uh, tin. Let's see. Okay, so that is enough right there. Uh, half a stack, and then 16 aluminum. Do I have enough? Aluminum, boom. 18, one, two, boom, boom. And 24. I searched 24. Good God. <laughs> I am good at this. Okay, and then 24. And then an advanced wafer, which requires the... I'm going to try to remember this. It requires a repeater. It requires a diamond, requires a redstone, which I have in my inventory, and then si silicon. One, two. Am I correct? We're about to find out. Let's see if I can do something from memory for like the first time in forever. Um, okay, so circuit fabricator. Boom, 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 and... Ooh, there we go. I did it. I did it. I finally remembered something. It's it's a miracle. Uh, okay, so anything that I should toss back. I don't need my ultimate set anymore. Um, I don't really need to keep collecting more dirt, but I guess I'll throw it in. Cinnamon, pineapple, spider eye, heart canister. I guess we can keep getting more hearts, which is good. And then, oh, I should bring along some oxygen tanks just in case. Boom and boom. All right, here we go, and, oh, the ultimate, I wanted to make an ultimate shovel. Ultimate shovel, why not? Uh, boom, and boom. Cool. So now we can get rid of the amethyst shovel, which we've had forever, and is not particularly high tier. And boom. Cool. We're good. I think we're good to go to the, uh, the moon. Not the moon, the space station. And advanced wafer. All right, why don't we... Uh, why don't we grab our, our spare rocket so we can bring up the uh, the menu and then it'll hopefully let us go to the space station and it will be... Oh, telepad. Gotta bring a telepad. All right, telepad. Um, I don't have any there, so let's make one. Or let's make two, I should say. Cool. And um, I need fuel, too. Fuel. I think it was just one bucket, right? If I'm not, if I'm not forgetting. All right. Oh, an ultimate sword. Forgot about that one, too. Ultimate sword. All right. Beautiful. Let's head, uh, let's head into space again and make a space station. It'll be the best. All right. So, oh, wait. No. No. My landing pad. Oh, no. That's not cool. My landing pad's all gone. Oh, come on. Is it a one day? I'm pretty sure that like NASA landing pads are used more than once, aren't they? They definitely, they definitely are. Definitely are. Wow, that don't, that only does nine damage to you. Good God, you've got some tough skin, man. Some really tough skin. And bye bye. Okay, so I guess we need to make another. Uh, it's not a landing, it's a launch pad. Um, let me make one really quick. I'll set it up, and then then we'll be good to blast off. Okay, I forgot the crafting recipe is not that intensive at all. So, just made a, a few compressed iron, and uh, that should do it. Launch pad, boom, boom, and good to go. 
Cool. All right. That didn't take too long. Now we can get back into action. Throw down another launch pad because apparently they are one-time use only. That maybe that's why they're they're not very expensive. Is so you can make them over and over and over. Boom and boom. Okay. Cool. Put down our rocket and okay. So I guess it just when you place down the rocket, it just keeps one in your inventory so that you can keep making rockets or you can keep blasting off to, to the moon you don't have to like if you didn't have telepads then uh <clears throat> you'd be able to to keep going there over and over stop stop raining actually maybe we can have a dramatic rainy rocket launch let's do that we'll be the the first bat in space we've been ablaze now we'll be a bat and hopefully lightning will not strike our rocket as we as we go okay so i put you in there um f and come on, fill up. Why don't you fill up? Why you know? Oh, cause you don't have a power source. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Okay, one sec. Let me uh, uh, let me put down a geothermal generator and get this sorted. Well, I wanted to avoid having to bring the geothermal generator down here because there's always that small percent chance when you use the wrench on it, it'll turn into like the basic machine casing block. And I didn't want that to happen, but I, I tried the industrial craft battery. That doesn't work with this. It's not compatible. I uh, I made the Galactic craft battery, but then I couldn't figure out what machine I needed to use to charge it. So then that was blah. And then and then I was like, whatever, geothermal generator. God, <laughs> Murphy's law up in here. Um, so why don't we just hook that thing up and. Uh, yeah, here we go. Wee! Geothermal generator time. Cool. And boom. And where do I connect you? It's around the side, right? Boom, boom. And okay. Do you has you has power now? Beautiful. Okay. So you're gonna load. You're gonna load the fuel, right? Okay. Boom. And fuel loading up. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Murphy's law up in here. Okay. So. Let's see, is there anything else that I need with me? Um, let me put on these just in case. And we will we'll head out into the great unknown. All right, let me actually, eh, I may as well put some more fuel in here. Why not? That way we can, uh, we have a, a bit more to launch some more rockets if we need to. So anyway, we'll leave that down here just for the time being and uh, head out to the, uh, the space station. All right, here we go. Launch. And uh, off we go. Wait, is it gonna go F5 me? F5 me? No? Is it because I'm a bat? I'm trying. I get a first-person view now. This is what it looks like to blast off from the inside of a rocket in Galacticraft. What if I morph as I'm doing this? Um, countdown. Are we? Are we heading? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hey, I bet you haven't seen this view before. I bet you didn't know you could you could see what was going on from the inside of the rocket, huh? Yeah, it's always supposed to be from the outside, but not today. Not today. Today you get a special view. It's mostly just a box, but uh, you get to see the stars as well. This is realistic view. You wouldn't get that outside perspective if you were actually going into space. You'd be in here for the long haul, man. You just, I, you just see out the window, and and that would be it. Granted, the window would be a little bit bigger in a in a real rocket, but you, you get the idea. So. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, I kind of do want to see the Earth, though. Let me, if I go into, uh, if I morph, is this going to be catastrophic? Um, oh, there's a nicer view. What if I morph into Mobzilla? We're going to, let's see how this goes. Um, and let's morph into, where is he? All the way down at the bottom? Mobzilla. Boom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't have didn't have a chance. I should have done it earlier. Anyway, um, create space station. I have all that I need. Cool. Oh, um, oh, I have extra aluminum. Cool. Create space station. Let's go to Captain Sparkles' space station. The uh, space base of awesome. And rename send to dimension. Yeah, here we go. Oh wait, what's going on here? the heck oh I'm Mobzilla um yeah that <laughs> do I consume more oxygen when I'm Mobzilla let me uh that looks like snow let me let me uh let me just go and get back into being normal um and yeah okay okay much better okay <laughs> what is this space station base 
Can I right click on it for anything? No. Um, so we had a chest, a pair of chest. Anything? Oh, cool. So I can build another uh, another launch pad here if I want to, and I do want to. So what is that? Tin decoration. That's oh, the same stuff that's on the moon. Kind of just looks like moon blocks, but you know, it is what it is. So let's see. We have a nice view of the uh, of Earth, and I guess the moon is still pretty far. Well, that would, that would make sense. I mean, it'd be the space station would be orbiting the uh, the Earth. So the moon would still be fairly far. So now we, the the day night cycle must actually be really cool up here because it just like rotates around. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's make a let's make a rocket pad. Cool. And then, I feel like this isn't like a very good space station. It's kind of, it's kind of open. <laughs> it's kind of not very effective. You would you would be suffocating. Um, up here if if you didn't have oxygen gear let me put the telepad down we'll call it space station and apparently there are even helicopters flying around up here in space who'd have thunk <laughs> uh, helicopters are so obnoxious they've just been non-stop filming something for like the past two days anyway um, I guess so I, I kind of, I wasn't really expecting this to be all open, so I'm going to need to bring some uh, some oxygen stuff uh, with me in order to, to seal this thing up. But uh, I feel like a, a nice like glass observation room would be cool if we, we make some like glass little little bubbles out of each side of here, and then maybe uh, I don't know what happens if I parachute down. Can I fly? Let's see. Okay, I can. What happens if I go down here? F three. It probably starts killing me. If I drift too far, I'm going to not do that. That's probably a poor decision. Jumping off the space station. Not not advised. At least not without a jetpack. Anyway, you know, I, I think I might call the episode here. Next time around, though, we can we can try to, like, do some beautification on the space station. Um, but, yeah. On that note, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have a rating, we'd be much appreciated. Other than that, um, I guess I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah.